Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Hey. Business and bankroll, we back in the house. Yeah, <laughs> we doing this thing. Hey. We a man short today, though. <laughs> but we going to get right into it, though. You know what I'm talking about? Bridges and Bank Road, the world's most dangerous podcast. We up in the house. Feeling good today. Feeling real good, man. I can't believe this motherfucking got deported again. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think he in rehab, bro. I keep hearing all kind of different rumors of where he at and what he doing. I, I don't know. He leading to a double life or some shit. I don't know. I they got him on the screen, uh, Bill Collect 817, but he ain't know. here. He hiding know. out. I don't, I don't know. know what the fuck is going I on. I think El Chapo might be looking for his <laughs> <laughs> Somebody looking. Child support, somebody <laughs> looking, somebody for, looking him, for him. Because he ain't here today. He hiding out. I don't know, He said he, uh, he was going to be here. But I guess he going to do the Eddie Kane and try to slide up in here or something. I, I don't know. I think that motherfucker think he, what's his name in The Temptations? <laughs> Ah, David Ruffin. David Ruffin. All the dope fiends, huh? <laughs> that's, that's, that's a coincidence. There's a lot of dope fiends being yeah. there. Hey, but you know what he did to me, man? I'm going to go ahead and start the show off just like this. Then what he did to me. What? He did a Rick Ross on me last night. What? This nigga say, I'm going to the bathroom and never came back. <laughs> we at the club. We chilling. We drinking. We kicking it. You know, it, Hey, we karaoke. We supposed to do a song. Mm-mm. We on the list. We next. They called our name. And he he gone. And yo, he did a Teddy Pendergrass. Man, he did worse than that. How, you know, Teddy, when he left Harry Melvin the Blue Nose, yeah. he didn't say shit. He burnt. Yeah, he didn't say wow. shit. He just burnt out. And I said, nigga, I'm going to earn him out tomorrow on the show. I got to hey, let bro. America know. Don't never trust Bill Collector. Hey, bro, like I say, Bill Collector, he, you know he already acting like he want to go solo. <laughs> Oh, well, no. That's what he did. He solo right up out the yeah. building. And then he going to come on talking about checking in or win. <laughs> You're going solo, bro. We know what you're trying to do. <laughs> well, hey, y'all, y'all, let's get this phone line jumping today. You know what I'm saying? Y'all check in. Tell us what's up. Check in to win. Yeah. yeah tell us what's up. You know what I'm saying? 817 5685. You know what I'm saying? Tell me what you think. Get it off your shoulders. Get it off your chest. Let me know what it is. If you if you seen Bill Collector, yeah, man. cause I know we got some witnesses out there. They ain't yeah. snitching, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Just they snitching. Tell us where he at. We, got, we can go get him. We got a whole two dollar reward for him. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna get him back? Yeah, we got a whole two dollar reward for him. Hey, we gonna, That's what that is. We're gonna take you to McDonald's, you can get anything off the dollar menu up to ten dollars. They say up to ten dollars. <laughs> that sound like them gift cards. <laughs> hey, we trying to do it. We trying to get Bill Collector back, man. What's up with your boys out there? You know what I'm saying? Them Pelicans. Oh, my God. Let's, let's, let's go on and get that out the way, too. Hey, hey, Jackson Hayes, what were you thinking, young man? <laughs> I really want to know when you did that dumb shit. Mm. And, I mean, right in front of the referee, the people are looking, man. That was You should have got kicked out the damn game. Hey, but, hey, Utah was, man, they, was, they tried to rough Jalen Brunson up. Man. And nobody didn't say shit. But think about this, man. Think about this. Really, with Utah, they can have a 30-point fucking lead, and they're going to blow it. Oh, well, that is what it is. I mean, but think about it. Rudy Gobert has got to be one of the worst big men I've ever seen. <laughs> but they say he the best. He the defensive player of the year for three How? times in a row. How? The motherfucker can't do nothing. That's all he do is play defense. He don't do no he offensive shit. He can't fucking score. We don't need him to score. But you got you got big men like— Well, uh, he's like, not on our team, no, but, but if he was, because he wanted to come to Dallas. You got big men like Lopez— for the Milwaukee Bucks, I mean, your big man got to be out to pop out and pop a three on both ends. On both, you got you got to play both ends because you got to keep the defense honest. Yeah, that make him a liability, huh? Yeah, go bad's a liability. Hey, uh, Bill Collector, uh, Brandon Blatter, can I turn myself in? We don't want you. <laughs> <laughs> he fired. You're he, fired. Hey, well, uh, who used to have that show? He Donald said you're Trump. fired. Donald Trump. We need to bring <laughs> that back. We yeah. need to bring Donald Trump you're in the building. Fired, Bill Collector. <laughs> <laughs> turn himself in. You act like you act. Yeah. Like, boy, I tell what, you. what did you do to turn yourself in? He's snitching on himself. He's snitching on everybody. We don't want you snitching on us. Yeah. Well, hey, he could end up like this guy. You know what I'm saying? They was talking about the guy in uh, South Carolina, uh, supposed to be under the firing squad. Did you hear about that? Yeah. The first ever firing squad. He said he don't want to. He don't want no lethal injection. He don't want no electric chair. He want to die by a firing squad. Man, you know how painful they got to be? Hey, he want to get it light, over with. Bro, what was lighting you up? He well, wanna. you know what? It might be either one head shot. That's what they going for the dome. Yeah, but they not going to aim at his head. They just going to light him up because that's fun for them. They don't even know. You know what? They don't even, when they do firing squad, nobody even know who got the real bullets in their gun. Exactly. It's like, it, I don't know. I, I remember, I think it was like five to ten guns, five to ten people shooting, and there ain't no telling which one got the real bullets. So they not aiming. They just shooting. Yeah, and then they making a big deal about, you know, this this woman about to get executed here in Texas. 
Uh-huh. And they trying Fire to say, squad? No, nah, they, they don't do that here. They're trying to say that she's actually innocent. Is and she white? I think she's Mexican, I think. Oh, she's Mexican? What they, do you think? I really haven't looked at the case, but from from all the people she got back in her, I mean, I don't know. What does that mean? She got celebrities? Yeah, or Kim Kardashian, a lot of. Oh nah, man, Kim Kardashian. Well, she jump on every fucking yeah, train. Yeah, she on bro. everything. She just want to keep her name in the mix, bro. I mean, you know, they love to exploit minorities in any fucking way. <laughs> That's what they do. Is that right? Yeah, Is that, they love to exploit she, minorities. I think she, I think she just like putting her name in because every time somebody come up with some legal shit. They talking about they fighting for yeah, she, for a week, yeah, for yeah. about a week, and then you never hear about that shit and, ever again. When the story get cold, they just, <laughs> they just like Al Sharpton ass. <laughs> when the story hot, <laughs> where was he at when Bill Collector got deported? I, I had to go take care of that. Man, Al Sharpton don't give a fuck. Bill Collector ain't had nobody looking for him on, I, with cameras. <laughs> I make shit happen. Hey. I guess I'm a Kardashian. Huh? I guess you are the you, Black Kardashian. You're the black Kardashian. You that Corey Gamble. <laughs> you that Corey Gamble dude. Hey. What but about, anyway, this, what about this shit with Mike Tyson? Man, that's yeah, we was gonna talk about that. We was gonna touch on that. I seen the video, man. The dude was fucking with Tyson hardcore. I'm talking about hardcore fucking with him. What? And then finally I guess Tyson say, Man, I had enough of this shit. I'm just gonna beat his ass. I'll pay him later. I think he hit he Mike fucked with a water. He hit Mike with a water bottle, didn't he? Man, he he was throwing shit at him. Uh I don't I didn't see the water bottle incident part, but I don't remember, recall, but let me tell you this. I do know he was throwing like little paper and shit at him and talking what? hella shit. What? I would have turned around and beat his ass like Bruh. 20 minutes before that. You know what? These white people, since Donald Trump got elected, y'all got some big ass balls. <laughs> nah, he just want to get rich. He know what's going to happen. Mean, but think about it, bro. Think but they was already it. in first, cl- first class anyway, you and, know what I'm saying? And then, Mike, why are you flying fucking commercial anyway? Man, they weren't commercial. They was first class. I mean, why? It's still commercial. You on a fucking regular, regular plane. Man. Mike, you got enough money. Why to- spend all your money? Man, because shit. Mike ain't gonna do nothing but go get high anyway. Mike, 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 so you said he should have his own private little jet or whatever? I mean, that's what most of the rich people do. They don't want to have to deal with the public because when you deal with the public, you're gonna go through the shit that he went through. Motherfuckers he tried to ignore you. him, though. I'll give it to him. He tried his best to, you know, chill out. Don't, you know, don't let the nigga get on, you know. But old dude was just trying, trying. They was recording. Right, he, he looking for, he looking for a payday. And then after he hit him, they show his picture. He was like had a little sad face look. He where well, he roughed his ass up, boy. Tyson, he threw about four or five punches on his but ass. But I'm though. hearing about this white boy. This white boy got all kind of felonies and all kind of shit that he <laughs> did. They ain't say they ain't say that this white boy, this white boy, he was fucking. Yeah, if it was a black man, they'll pull up his fucking record. <laughs> I'm gonna they, say you sound like uh you sound like the uh, the police or the or the lawyers every time somebody black get into some trouble. But what I'm saying, he be like, hey, oh yeah, he's. But think to do about this. you know me, I'm a, I'm pro black. Yeah, you I'm know pretty, what I'm saying. You're an activist, right? Oh, gotta be. But you Super. know what I'm saying. But if this if it was a if it was a shoe was on the other fucking foot. Hey, I don't like, know. I now if the shoe was on the other foot, wouldn't they have said, well this Negro, <laughs> his, look, look at his record. To me, in my opinion. Justice was have already been served. Yeah. He fucked with him. He turned around. He beat his ass, and then he went back to doing what he was doing. Hey, bro, I went, it, it should be over with. Yeah, but now a dude gonna sue. Probably. I heard he got a lawyer. So, wow. Yeah, he that, got a lawyer. As soon is that as, hard you know, to believe? About a, a couple of days. The next day he got a lawyer. So you know he gonna sue yeah, and get his probably, money. He probably got. He probably had the lawyer lined up the same fucking day. He wanted him going. You know, he wanted to press charges. Well, <laughs> well you know how that shit go. <laughs> Hey, but but you fucking with somebody? What do you expect? I mean, if you if you uh, guess what? If you keep kicking that fucking dog, you know what's gonna happen, <laughs> don't you? Hey, you know what's gonna happen. Yeah, he gonna bite you. He gonna catch your foot you. one day. Hell yeah, man. He gonna catch your foot one bro, day. It's it's some fucked up shit, bro. You think you can just? You think because social media got y'all fucked up that you think you can't get them paws put on your ass? Nah, look, you know what? They still on that uh, uh, fake ass uh, Will Smith and uh, Chris Rock man, slapping each yeah, other. Yeah, man, get the fuck. <laughs> and then, and then, look, do you know what I'm saying? And then, look how she treating this man after she done did after he done did this shit. Yeah, she's look, still on that old man. ass shit. Hey, Vanessa McCoy, what's up? She said that's why he shouldn't have had to pay him because the guy got what he came for. Yeah, yeah. that's what he wanted to get paid. That's yeah. why he was fucking with that's him. That's why he fucking with he him. You know, if McCoy. I keep fucking with him, he gonna turn around and hit hit my ass. I, you know, what I'm saying he probably feel like I can take a Mike Tyson punch, but he Shit. really couldn't. But Hell no. he, he gonna get paid though. <laughs> I rather walk through a Lions cave with steak drawers on and have Mike punch me in my face. Hell yeah. I ain't with it either. I ain't trying to get punched at all. Bro, but the but thing, I ain't finna fuck with Mike Tyson like that. If I see if I see Mike Tyson, I'm gonna be like, what's up? 
I you know mean, what I'm saying? What's up, brother? Can I get your autograph? Right. That's it. That's it. But these white folks, they take it too <laughs> fucking folks. far. But I seen him in the club. He uh, he was another dude was trying to press, and this dude was black. He uh, was trying to fuck with his bodyguard. That's what I'm saying. But bro. the dude pulled a gun out. But but why why you know what they say fans stand for fanatics? Why do these <laughs> fucking why do these people figure just because I'm in the public eye that you can come up and do any fucking thing to me, talk to me like I'm fucking stupid and disrespect me? Yeah, hey, I don't know. Because you know, he know he gonna get paid But think about it Look at the hell Kyrie Irving going through With these racist motherfuckers In Boston <laughs> Calling him nigger And all kind of shit man ah, Man Come what do on, you expect man. These are, What do you expect But I, that ain't what I expect bro But goddamn, what So if, if an athlete retaliates He wrong But now you act like This athlete ain't a man Then he just gotta sit up but there And look, put up with you Disrespecting him But that boosts the ratings too At the same time Yeah man but you know at what At the same time That make people tune in but you know what? You know what though Sancho bro how old a black man got to be before he not being called a fucking boy? <laughs> I don't know, because, you know what? Because uh, old folks, old folks still will call you boy. I mean, but, 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 but no, but they, you, you know, our, our elders, if they call you boy, they don't mean it in the sense of, of that. <laughs> How do you know? But no, they don't mean, I mean, our elders, they don't mean in the sense of that. But an old white man call you boy, you know how he <laughs> fucking mean it. You know exactly how he mean it. <laughs> He said, if a, old, if a white, what's old the difference? White man, an old white man call you boy, you know how he mean it. He okay. mean it like, so he mean it like you. So he mean you telling it. me that if an old black man say boy, yeah, it can you, mean the same thing? No, he it? ain't mean it. He, he, not, he not saying it with the emphasis that that motherfucker saying it with it. He saying, boy. <laughs> he looking at me. Yeah. Hey, don't make that face no more. <laughs> I don't make that face. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Them motherfuckers say it with a different <laughs> emphasis. Say what you say you gonna say? Boy, he gonna, <laughs> he gonna look down on you. Like, he gonna look down on you like, boy, you talking shit to me? No, cause I, I say boy to my grandson all the time. But you, you, you I be like, hey, boy, get over there, stop, leave that long, boy. But you not saying with the emphasis. I'm but a grown. He, young. he only, he like, I don't, he ain't two yet. But I'm saying I'm a grown ass man, and you got nerve enough with your old ass, and you, your old ass, to call me a fucking boy. <laughs> Are so, you serious? So you get offended. I get when, offended. When, I ain't no fucking if, boy. I'm a man. Only if a white person call you boy. I, I get offended. Anybody, I get offended. If, uh, I mean, if it's my if it's my, if it's my, father, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so what if a, a Latino guy come up and say, hey, boy? Hey, boy. I say, uh, your son somewhere around, motherfucker? Because <laughs> I ain't your boy. I ain't your boy. Hey, hey my, my dad, used to say, he say, if you see a boy, smack him. Yeah, I mean, you know I ain't saying? no fucking boy. How old I gotta be to, for you to stop disrespecting me, <laughs> motherfucker? <laughs> hey, sometimes you take shit that, that's, that you you can't let everybody offend you with with the shit that they do. Like what you talking about? What you said? If a dude come and call you a nigga, if a white dude call you a nigga, you mad? Oh yeah. But, but a guess, black dude can call you a nigga all day long. But guess what? When a, when a black man said it, it's not with the emphasis. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I, I told him today at work. I'm I'm a bring what up. What we was talking about at work. It okay. doesn't matter, man. It don't matter. I told him, I said, that's a detar- uh, that's a fucked up word. Because the nigga in the definition of me is a stupid person. Okay. In the definition, I like, I'm not a nigga. I'm a black man. As soon as y'all stop looking down on yourself and, and call each other niggas, but I don't care if with the that. E-R or the A. Everybody, it don't matter. Everybody say, what's up, nigga? Or that nigga this, or this that's, nigga that, or nigga please, or nigga, nigga, I, nigga. I mean, you, that's not a badge of honor to be called a nigga. But what I'm saying is, it's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing. But think about this. You know what they say? You know what white folks said? They said one thing that is that stick with me right to the end. Say, they say if you don't want a black man to know something, put it in the book because niggas don't read nothing. <laughs> it's the truth. It's okay. The truth. Okay. But look, check this out. Me, I had a when I was little, I had a debate with my mother okay. because I was a mischievous the little kid and I used Keith, to get into it. Keith. I used to get into it all the time, you know what I'm saying? So, I cussed a lot. I like to cuss. Yeah. Just well. because I was a badass kid. So, my my mom was like, okay, today you're getting a whooping because I'm that's enough cussing. I told you to stop cussing. So, in, in reply, I told her, hey, mother, why is it that I'm in trouble for saying a word? For saying a word. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I just said a word, and to me it might not be a bad word. To you, it's a bad word, but it's like it's like me saying tree is a bad word. I feel like it's a bad word, so now I can't say tree. 
But you know, it's it's. I guess some sometimes people figure it's how you say the word. It's how you word. Well, it. this is what she broke it down to me after she gave me the whooping. Oh, of course. She say, it's not the word that you say. It's what you mean when you say the word. Exactly. It's your intentions. Like, so anything, cause like in London they say bloody, get your bloody hands off of me. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? But to us. Bloody ain't a cuss word, but to them it's like a cuss word. You fucking bloke. Yeah, yeah. Crazy shit. Yeah. So, I mean, just different words in different languages, different people mean different I things. Mean, but it's the intent of what you use when you say it. Exactly. But at the same time, I, I call you a nigga all the time. And it don't offend you one bit. I mean, I, I like, look, now, listen I can what understand. I'm saying. Listen Come what on. I'm saying. I'm saying this, bro. I mean, why, why, why is that a, a word that we we think that is good? Ain't nothing good come from that word nigger. It's what just a it? word, bro. It's it just ain't a just word. a word, bro. It's it's, it's, a, it's a, some derogatory shit that they put on us. Ain't you ever heard uh, sticks and stones break bones, but words could never hurt? Words fucking hurt, man. Look at these kids. <laughs> look at these fucking kids committing man, suicide. I ain't worried about kids. these sensitive no, ass no, kids. No, we look got at these kids now. getting bullied and, and ah, killing themselves, bro. Man, Words that's hurt. Some, that's some bullshit, bro. Man, ain't no bullshit. That's bullshit. Bro, why I'm these, sorry. All right, bro. So now, think about I, this. So okay. these, this little this little girl, she was 13 years old and she killed herself because of people bullying her. But that's bullshit. She killed herself because she got low self esteem. Okay. Her parents didn't teach her to have. To, to okay. teach her the value of her life. Everybody ain't you got a, everybody ain't got a daddy at home. It doesn't matter. Everybody my dad didn't live with me for for over half of my think life. Think about this, man. Now more you, than think that. about this. You got babies raising babies. They okay. don't even they don't even have the they don't even have the they don't even know how to even raise themselves, much less another man, fucking my, human being. My mom been single since I was in the fifth grade. But I'm saying your mama was a grown woman. And she didn't have a boyfriend. She didn't have your a, mama a nigga a, who came by to cut the yard. She didn't have none of that your shit. Your mama was a grown woman. Right. All right. Now you have motherfuckers that's 14, 15 years old having babies and they don't even know what the fuck they is. They babies themselves. Okay. But then that's a whole nother situation though. But right. I look, we do, that's two problems, right? We discussing two different problems. One problem is our kids not knowing the value of their life and how good they got it and you know what I'm saying? That's, trying that, to that, that shit start at home. Okay, but the kids these days they put too much on themselves. They trying to deal with shit that they don't even have to deal with. Exactly, but that, when, that start at home. Let's start with your parents teaching you right, right. from wrong. So, so I don't want to hear about no bullying or about I killed myself because somebody said my I'm hair just, is ugly because that's bullshit. I'm just saying what they saying. They little right. girl killed well, herself because she was being bullied. That's all I'm saying. I'm sorry. I know it's bullshit. I got a I got a like a firm belief and stuff like that. Now, I don't want to sound insistent. So to all our fans that watch our show, don't think that I'm on here saying that that's bullshit, that's fucked up. Well, I, I feel like it's fucked up because this is what it is. The kids these days is too damn pussyfoot, too damn, well, too damn spoiled, too damn a whole bunch of shit. Okay. We, we, we done say, totally fucked up with our this kids. This the same motherfuckers that don't go outside. They yeah, just sit up and play right. fucking PlayStation. Right. They the same motherfuckers okay. on our side. So, so if you let PlayStation raise your kids and they playing Grand Theft Auto and uh, exactly. all kind of shit, the same exactly. shit you mentioned uh, yeah, last that show, bullshit. you know what I'm saying, crazy shit. So whose fault is it? It's the parents' fault. The parents. And like I said, my mama was single since I was in the fifth grade. Yeah, your mama's strong black woman like I was raised What's by up, a Quentin Van Jackson? It's how I swear these kids softer than baby shit. You right. And that's the problem. What's because, up, cuz? Because we making all these excuses for them. When we was when we was kids, our parents, hey, hey, they said, you you motherfuckers gonna learn and y'all gonna act right. Else we gonna tear y'all ass. Guess what? I, I guess what? This, this shit these kids say nowadays to their parents, if I would have said one of them fucking words to my mama, dude, I wouldn't have had no fucking teeth right now. <laughs> hey, he said, I'm glad I never got into video games. Bro, bro. And then it, yeah, my mama's single, homeboy. She she ain't never had no no man come in there all the, in all my years. Hey, bro, like I say, bro, nowadays, bro, nowadays she's still single. These these young women nowadays, they more worried about shit that's going on on their Facebook feed than yeah. worried about their fucking yeah. kids. Well, see, that's you know, the thing. Social media and the that's the thing. Up. We let everybody else raise our kids, but us. Exactly. Now, now well, I ain't gonna say that because because I, I I made sure. You know what I'm saying? I, I had something to do with, with the way my kids was raised. At a young age, they was all taught certain yeah. things. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Now, once you get to a, a certain age and you start making decisions for yourself, then I can understand that. But that's the problem. 
We're we not even trying to raise our kids. We're trying to be saying. friends with them and shit. I don't want to be your fucking friend. <laughs> I don't want to be a. Look, look, let me tell you something. We could, we could, we could be cool. I could crack right. joke with you, but right. when you get out of your motherfucking lane, right? I'm gonna put you back in your motherfucking well, that's, lane. That's not an issue with showing love to your kids. I'm talking about trying to be wanna, cool with them, trying to cool drink with, with them, trying to drink smoke with, with them, trying to hang out with them. No, no, that's no, where no, the no. parents, these young ass parents, is fucking up because they were trying to hold on to their youth. Hey, you seen that video with that little girl, that chick smoking that blunt and oh, got man. her little baby in there? Right, what crazy the fuck, shit. Fuck, man, crazy shit, bro. Cam yeah. say he's scared of his mom and daddy. He ain't playing with him. That's right. You got it. Because not. you was raised that way. Hey, when you, when you like he said, when he was going to go to college. Right. Then when you on your own, then we friends. Right. Until then, I ain't your motherfucking friend. <laughs> you gonna come and talk to me. Hey, bro, what's happening? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> you that, gotta get the fuck. You got to respect something. You got to respect everything. If you don't respect things, then that's when you start fucking up. You got to respect drugs. You got to respect, you know what I'm saying, these streets. Yeah. You got to respect other people. Hey. When you stop respecting these things, that's when those things can can have control over you. That's what I'm saying, bro. These they, nowadays they want to be they want to be friends with their kids instead of being a fucking parent. That's what's wrong in the black community. They want to be their fucking friend. I'm um, first of all, you going to take your ass to school, you going to get you a fucking education. Right. And if I got to come to that motherfucking schoolhouse, and it's going to be a motherfucking problem. Yeah. yeah, that's what my mama, she don't, she didn't cuss like that. You know what I'm saying? But she was firm and she was right. I mean, I got whoopings uh, damn near every day. You supposed to. I was bad. I, and whoop- I admit to it. But look, hey, I, I, I ain't been locked up. I ain't been to prison. You know them, what I'm saying? Them ass whooping made you a better saying, man. I'm not saying I ain't been out there doing some shit I ain't had no business doing because yeah. I done a lot of I was a mischievous kid. You know what I'm saying? I did a lot of bad shit, but my my foundation was set. You know what I'm saying? And them ass whooping made you a better man, didn't they? Yeah, for sure. And plus, when I was a kid, I went outside. I had fun. I did kid shit. These motherfuckers don't even know how to ride a bike. Yeah. They don't do kid shit no more. They don't even know how to ride a fucking bike. They want to be the grown. Fuck? They want to be grown and deal with grown folks problems and but, then they're like oh i can't take it this world is a beast and all it no get the fuck in there and do some kid shit but guess what they 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 these parents allow their kids to be put in that <laughs> fucking situation to, they, look i could never be around my mama when her and her friends were talking i yeah. could never Hell but these yeah. little kids be sitting take around they, out there. these kids be sitting around their fucking parents listening to grown folks fucking conversation Man. i didn't see i didn't fuck? been at people's house and we we you know back in the day i don't smoke now but i don't you know i drink a little bit but I done been in people's house and we all sitting there chilling, having fun, like a damn little small party. And the kids right there beside us, they passing the weed to the kids and passing the, the drink weed to, to the kids, kids and, the, and the kids in the conversation and uh, everybody got an idea, got a got an opinion oh and all that shit. God. You know what I'm saying? We couldn't even do all that. That's what I'm we saying. Could, we didn't want to do it's, all it's that. It's this young generation of fucking parents. It's this young generation of fucking parents. Yeah. They fucking suck. Well, if you ha- you having babies and shit and you 16 years old, your kid's damn near your age. And guess what? <laughs> <laughs> you, and you, you trying to kick it with them. Being a grandma at 30 ain't cool. Hell no. <laughs> it ain't fucking cool. Being a grandma at 40 ain't cool. God you know damn what I'm saying? <laughs> and you know what? Nowadays, being a thought is cool. Since when being a hoe is cool? I don't know. Oh, that's just I don't know. Just, that thing about it. This bullshit music they come out with, Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B, this shit making being a thought is fucking cool. Well, okay. Well, let me ask you this. Gosh. Now we got to go into some debate shit. So, so when niggas was rapping about, uh, bitch come suck my dick and that this shit ain't bitch, cool. I want to fuck this hoe and G-strings up the ass, bounce that oh, ass shit, let me, it's cool? Now, let me tell you something, my brother. They don't play that shit on white folks' radio stations. Nah. They, they don't do that shit. Nah. They try to degrade us and make they us look like to. they try to degrade us and make us look like we ain't shit. That we just sexual predators and shit. Yep. That's what they do to degrade us. You don't hear you don't hear Molly Cyrus talking that shit. But Molly Cyrus hear, was the first one to come well, out yeah, twerking. But you don't, you don't hear Britney Spears. She could twerk all she wants. She ain't got no ass <laughs> to twerk with. Yeah, but she made it popular. But she didn't make it popular. Black women made it popular. She, they steal all our I'm shit. I'm talking about mainstream popular. Well, that shit. Why the fuck? Why the fuck? Do we black, all know Molly Cyrus ain't got no do, ass. Why, it was just a, why the fuck do black women degrading themselves have to be mainstream? I don't know. I mean, why, think about why Lauren, do, Hill. Lauren Hill sold 15 million albums. She ain't degrade us, yo. No. No. But sex sells. That's Foolishness what, and sex sell. That's but, just what but, it is. But, but why do they have to push this shit to our community? They don't push that shit on their own shit. Hey. I, I, that's about Sancho. They don't push that shit on their own shit. 
Well, uh, they don't push shit. They everything is pretty much us. Everything, is especially pretty much. social media. Like I said, I, hard, I hardly ever see white people on social media. Man, but especially Facebook. Let me tell you something. So, Sancho, everything, bro. They get they get their culture. They get everything from us. But guess what? Who the motherfuckers that? Who is the motherfuckers that that's profiting off this shit? We're yep. not profiting off this shit. But look, like he said, we glorify dope selling and ass shaking. We do. Thank rims, you, cuz. Rims and speakers. That's what we, we glorify, man. We don't, glor- <laughs> we don't glorify motherfuckers that are doctors and lawyers. We don't glorify that shit. Right. We glorify these motherfuckers. Like, look, young Dolph. I'm sorry that brother lost his life. Right. But look at this shit, bro. We glorify guns and we glorify violence. And violence. And so when you die by that, when you die by that shit, come on, man. You glorify that when shit. When the last time you heard a song? That didn't involve these three topics. Oh. Ass shaking, <laughs> shooting up the club, <laughs> or robbing. Yeah. Yeah, I tell, don't me, know. tell me what song I, you didn't hear. Or I, fuck your dead I, homie. Yeah. Uh, uh, how many how many songs out there ain't ain't mentioned none of or some gay shit? Hey, that's what I'm saying, bro. It's, it's it just kills me, man, how positive black music don't come out. I mean, look at R and B. Listen to R and B. R and B is fucking garbage now. Yep. They they fucked up R and B. Other well, brothers, other brothers, come out and say, "I want to groove with you." You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Black pop music was talking about, "I want to be with my black woman. I want to make her feel good." But now we got this shit talking about, "Bitch, I just want to fuck." <laughs> they want it easy. Yeah, bitch, I just want to fuck. <laughs> but that's the shit they dance to. Bitch, I just want to fuck. I want to treat you like a hoe. I just want to fuck you. Yeah, that's what it is. They, it's, it's like that sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't understand it myself. Well, you know what? It, it, the youth, man, they want it fast. They don't want to plant no seeds. They, they want the plant. They want the plants that's already out the ground. But think about it, you motherfucker. You 18 years old, and your mama still bringing you your motherfucking food, washing your <laughs> fucking clothes, washing your clothes, cleaning yeah. up this shit. And the motherfucker, you ain't he got say, a look job. where it got R. Kelly. Hey, R. Kelly. Hey, R. Kelly was a, the the real. He used to make real music, yeah. man. He makes some music that, that that was good for us. It just he got caught up doing some fucked up shit. <laughs> hey, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can say we, about that. We, Cause I still bump R. Kelly. I shit. do too. Hey. We we talking about this shit at work, Sancho. R. Kelly, when the money ran out, that's when all the shit come up. <laughs> right that's, around. You know what? When, if you got talent like he did, money don't never run out. Bro. He got. You know how many songs R. Kelly wrote bro, for people? Like I say, how many songs he produced for people? I'm not gonna send he my got, 15 year old motherfucking daughter to spend the night by no fucking man. With nobody. With no fucking body. With no so fucking you telling body. me you don't know? You let your 15 year old daughter go by a grown fucking man for two, three weeks at a fucking time? You know what they doing? You already. Why the know? fuck would a dude want to want a female unless he unless he finna fuck? Come on, man. Why would you let your 15, 16 year old daughter go by this motherfucker? You already know he married a Leah when she's 15. You already know his fucking pedigree. <laughs> he said he don't own the master shit. He do own that shit. No, he, he don't. No, look. No, no, no. no. We're not talking about the masters for some of the songs. I'm talking about the shit he wrote. But he, he got published and he got out. That's his but shit. He don't, he don't own his catalog. That's the Man, most important part. If he wrote it, it's his shit. But you know why they got mad at Michael Jackson, right? When he yeah. bought that Beatles shit. Yeah. When he bought Paul McCartney, stopped speaking to him. Yeah, of course. And guess what? Mike worth more dead than he is alive. You know how mm-hmm. much money that Beatles master shit bringing to him? Yeah. Well, you know how somebody much? else got that shit, shit now. Because you can't take it with you when you go. Well, them kids you know? that ain't his kids got it. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Man, hey, hey, that's some old crazy shit. Ain't no telling. Who, who that, Quinn Jack? <laughs> hey, cuz, say, say that shit. That. He, say must that be, shit. he must be a Pelicans fan. That's my fan. cousin. Oh, is that right? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. He he in the in the N.O.? No, my cousin, he in uh, Wisconsin up there with them racist oh, motherfuckers. Shit. he with the cheese head, the no, backpackers. No, my cousin ain't no cheese head. My cousin a who that? <laughs> oh, is that right? <laughs> but he all the way up there cousin, represent? My cousin, Quinn Van Jackson. Hell yeah, yeah. Who okay. that? Okay. Well, the draft is gonna be next week. You know that, right? Man, Ain't it next week. Next yeah, week, yeah. We got two picks. Yeah. I mean, people sleeping on Jameis, bro. I don't know why people disrespect my quarterback so much. Say, bro. what's his name is supposed to go? Uh, old dude used to play for the Bears. No, he played for uh, Cleveland. He supposed to go holler at them this week. Who? Oh yeah, Jarvis Landry. Yeah, Jarvis Landry. Bro, but he ain't you, gonna do shit. But you, I mean, thank you, Quinn. Fuck the cowgirls. Yep. <laughs> why you gotta be like that? Hey. Who who even brought up the Cowboys? Hey, that's what we do. <laughs> that's what we do. You that know let me know. Do. That let me know. He love the Cowboys. That's all. Hey, Cause ain't nobody do. even mentioned. Hey, we talking about y'all. Hey, that's a warm blood. We just oh, oh bro, we got to do. Got to do. Hey, my my cousin, I love my cousin. We a hater too. <laughs> hater Quint. <laughs> 
but yeah, like probably. I say, bro, we got two first round draft picks. We're gonna see, bro. I think, I think, first of all, you say we hate because we can. First of all, I think we need a wide receiver to pair with Michael Thomas, and we need also. You tackle. need Michael Thomas. Michael he ain't Thomas, been there in two he, years. Hey, but but he's healthy now. Is he? Yeah, he healthy. We need an offensive tackle because we let Toronto Armstead leave and go to Miami, and we need a wide receiver. We Miami need... secretly building a good team over there. They ain't right? building shit with that old sorry ass tour. <laughs> hey, that don't matter because they could always get by the fifth game of the year. You know who's gonna be starting? Teddy Bridgewater. Well, that's cool because he he pretty good. He, yeah, he, Teddy make shift. Teddy ain't gonna make no mistake, but Tua, bro. Oh my gosh. Bro. All right, well, enough about enough about that. Let's talk about the Cowboys then, since he brought up the Cowboys. You know oh, what I'm saying? God. Uh, we we got to talk about this trash. We lost a few t- players, you know what I'm saying? So we're trying to rebuild. It, it don't matter who we got, Chopper Teddy. It don't matter who we got. We, <laughs> y'all just look out for us, you know? Just Let's just what do it fuck? like that. You y'all just what? look out for I, us. I, I, I look out for y'all in September, but November, December, I ain't got to worry about y'all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you hear about the, uh, the couple... They say the couple goes viral for having a five hundred dollar wedding, and that the her wedding dress costs forty seven. I don't know how they did that. I don't know because weddings are expensive. You know what I'm saying? They say the average wedding is like fifty thousand dollars. Oh, Sancho, I've I been wanting to tell you about this, bro. This shit been been beaming on social media. Okay, this come white, on. This interracial couple got married. This white girl leading this black dude in there on his fucking fours on a leash, like oh, he wow. a fucking dog. Yeah, bro, that shit been yeah, on. Yeah, but he let her do that. Exactly. But how the fuck you gonna let your old lady lead you in a fucking... I mean, think about it. Maybe she gonna hit it doggy style later. Man, think about it. How you gonna lead a motherfucker in there on a leash? On a fucking wedding? On a wedding? You won't, I, ain't, I ain't no way in the world, bro. Man, hey, I don't know how he was looking at that. He a beast? I don't know. I don't know, bro, but you don't let your old lady lead you in there on a fucking leash. So, so it made you mad because it was yeah, a, a white? Yeah, nah, it, it made me mad. It made me mad because it's disrespectful. I don't give a fuck what if color it, you are. If she was black and she did I don't, that? I don't give a fuck. You a black man? You letting a motherfucker treat you like trash? Okay, let me ask you. you. How did you feel? Dog leash? He said his cake cost six hundred dollars. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, Weddings are expensive. Cause... They had a wedding for for less than what your cake costs. Uh, so so look. That. So let me ask you this: What did you think about old girl that was twerking at the wedding and actually oh, doing all that? that? I seen her, bro. That's totally disrespectful at a wedding. I mean, I mean, they be having some fucked up weddings on bro, social media. I mean, media. it's fucked up. I mean, you you twerking at a wedding? You letting everybody already? I already know what I got, but you letting everybody else know what I got? Yeah. That's fucking exactly. sad, bro. That's some crazy shit. Yeah, I, my wedding was ex, was was expensive, but uh, the goddamn virus fucked up my wedding, man. Shit, we was supposed to. Well, we had uh, all kind of shit. Not, I, I got deposits. I'm still waiting on hey. trying to. I've been married there for two years. Did you I'm hear still about trying the, to, you hear about the wedding, Sancho? <laughs> this white girl went to jail because she laced they they um they appetizing the food with marijuana. Oh wow. You ain't hear about that. Oh, that's what he said. They had a weed reception yeah, in Florida. Yeah. She put, she put marijuana. She laid the THC shit with marijuana. With THC? No, with weed. With real weed? Real weed. She baked it all in? She put it all in. Oh, damn. <laughs> I bet they was kicking it in at that hey, motherfucker. Hey, bro, with the huh? motherfuckers talking about they hard with the palpitation. <laughs> <laughs> they thought they was going to die. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, they, they got the leftovers and they tested it. Yeah. Man, bro, why would, if you going to do that kind of shit, you got to let me know. <laughs> <laughs> wow Yeah That's fucked up Cause it might be some people That gotta go take a drug test tomorrow exactly. Now you gonna be fucked up Exactly you don't, you don't do that kind of shit To somebody I mean Well it's better than the last story Y'all had uh, From a few weeks ago Where they put nut in the in the cupcakes yeah, And shit that was You know what I'm saying At least ain't no damn yeah. sperm Weed I'd rather eat some weed Than some goddamn nut Goddamn <laughs> Hey that shit happened in Louisiana bro Why you gotta say do Everybody that? was turned up And throwing up <laughs> <laughs> nah, they probably ate all that goddamn reception food. They ate every bit of that shit. Them motherfuckers hey, like, damn. These motherfuckers, motherfuckers like, where the kettles at? <laughs> <laughs> they were hungry than a bitch Hell after yeah. that shit. Everybody want to eat some, man. You got any McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> I just want the french fries. He said, I just want the fries. <laughs> every day is Friday at McDonald's. Oh, yeah. Hell bro. yeah. Okay, we got another story. Uh, God damn, this, why does it got to be in Fort Worth, man? It said they stole $25,000 worth of gas. Oh, yeah, stolen from a shit. Fort Worth gas station. Yeah, and because they had the motherfucker charging like, what, 54 cents or something like that a gallon? Oh, well, damn, I should have, I missed that part. 
That's the that's where I needed to be because Cash then got outrageous, man. man. But you gotta look it's, for them. You gotta look for the motherfuckers using them skimmer, them cars and shit. When you go, you know, they put them shit on the on the gas pump where they can skim those fucking your cars God, and shit, all I'm that good, shit. shit. I'm, I, my shit is shared. I'm good. Man, they can take what they want. I'm gonna get it back. I'm oh, good. Of course, fuck. We all bank. They say they driving a space shuttle. Hell yeah, they they loaded up on gas. I don't know what the fuck they they had to go get gas for a, a good month or so. That's <laughs> for a whole bunch of vehicles. But you know what? In an 18 wheeler, you can do that easy. Yeah, man. Shit, that's easy. Yeah. Hey, 18, cause it's like what three, four hundred dollars to fill them hoes up. Yeah, but you see that that shit they trying to get that dude that was transporting them migrants over here from um, Mexico when they found them all in that fucking um in the back of that truck. Sure, they do that every they day. They trying to get that motherfucker twenty five years. Damn, that's fucked up. Bro, but I'm saying, bro. He but, probably got uh he got a good lawyer. I'm pretty sure. But think about it. All right, I'm gonna bring some up. When the Haitians was trying to come over here, <laughs> when the Haitians was trying to come over, you seen these motherfuckers on horseback with whips. Whipping them back to go back to Haiti, but when the motherfuckers, when the one, well, okay, you gotta them, go across the water, though. But think about it, when the motherfuckers from Ukraine came over here, they they helping them with open arms. Yeah, you know what? I had an he African partner. Up, his uh, well, he not African. His wife is African, and he was telling me, man, his they was all pissed off because they been trying to get her family over here for a long time, but. I told him I said, well, you know they had war, and he's like, shit, this is a hundred wars in Africa. Exactly, Everybody fighting. Exactly. So these motherfuckers from Ukraine, they <laughs> white, so they can come. But anytime you got your skin, is your skin is fuck that skin, your skin fuck you up in America. Cause think about it, these motherfuckers from Haiti trying to, they ain't had earthquakes, they ain't had everything in Haiti. They trying to escape from that shit. But these motherfuckers, y'all yeah. started the war because y'all wanted to start a fucking war, okay. so these Ukrainians can come over here and it ain't no problem with them coming. Well, Sam, I'm gonna put some salt in your soup, homeboy. Because it's like this. What they gonna do when they get here? What, the Ukrainians? No. I, well, yeah, Ukrainians too. I mean... Bro, uh, the same thing, the same thing the motherfucking Haitians gonna do. They wanna go to work. They, they wanna go to work. Nah, they wanna provide for their family. Going to work on Man, shit. Why, the in, fuck, why the fuck is it that black people only got lazy when we stopped working for fucking free? Yeah, I don't know. All right, I, we ain't they, lazy. We ain't lazy. Only time we got lazy is when we stop working for fucking free. All I know is if you ride through the middle of the hood, no matter what time it is, you'll see 50 niggas at the store chilling. Because they niggas. They not black <laughs> men. They they not black men. It's hey. the difference between being a man and being a nigga. I ain't, I'm a man. Hey, I work 10 hours a day. Exactly, and I work, I go to work every day. I work 12, 13, 14 hours a fucking day. I'm a motherfucking man. Them little kids that ain't had no no man to tell them how to be a fucking man. Yeah, but, okay, like, but that's just an excuse. It ain't no excuse. I, you gotta have a black man in your fucking family, in your life, to tell you how to be a black man. If I get up every day to no, go there, to work, no, that's a good, that's a, that's if a I get plus. up every day to go to work, I'm a, you don't know, you don't, you don't know. My daddy get up every fucking day to go to work. I'm a, and guess what? I'm gonna show you to be the same man I am. I'm gonna get man. your your ass gonna get up every day and go to work. If I get up every day and go to work, you're gonna do the same fucking thing. It's, I'm getting tired of thinking about going back to work. No, that's an excuse, bro. Y'all hit the phone lines up. 817-717-5685. Tell me what you think. Because I feel like it's an excuse. Because, I mean, it's a plus. It's a plus to have a, a man figure in your life. Yes. It's a plus to have a mother figure in your life. But at the same time, there's a lot of people who grew up without either. Hey, or without one or the other. Think about it, Sancho. You, like I say. Your mother was a strong black woman. Yes. And she didn't put up with y'all bullshit. Yes. She wasn't having it. But she nowadays. She had nine kids. And she wasn't having it. Nine she, kids. She raised all nine of y'all. She wasn't yeah, fucking having by it. By herself. She wasn't fucking having it. Period. Yes. You know, you step out of line, your ass gonna get put back in line. And she she wasn't sure. having it. And if you gonna get out of line, my brother and my sister gonna whoop your motherfucking ass for disrespecting yeah. my yeah. mama. The, the assistant manager gonna yeah. get on your ass. They gonna whoop your ass for disrespecting my motherfucking mama. Period. Yeah. You're not going to disrespect my mom, nigga, no way or form of fashion. Exactly. I'm going to get in your ass. But nowadays, they don't respect their mama because mamas want to be friends. Yeah. Or oh, they want to take it easy. Yeah, I don't know why man. that is. Moms, it's, 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 it's kind of crazy because moms want to take it easy on the sons. The fathers want to take it easy on the daughters. And then we got both of them taking it easy. <laughs> they Everybody taking exactly. it easy. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Nobody want to step up and be a fucking parent. Hey. It is what it is. I don't know bro, what, it is, what it is, but hey, bro, I, hey, all I, I can do know, is bro. bring it to the light and let you look at it. And I, you forgot a I'm way saying, to fix it. You I'm the saying, activist. What I'm saying, you know what? You fix this shit. How you fix this shit is stop, stop sexualizing every fucking thing. 
Stop, stop doing what? Stop sexualizing everything. Okay, explain to us. Enlighten stop us. sexualizing everything. I mean, everything got to be, everything, bro, got to be sexual. Why? I mean, let kids be kids. I, you ain't got to make kids choose when they 10, 5, 4, 3 years old. Uh-oh, we got a call coming in. What up, Bridges and Bank Rose? You on the air live? What it do? Man, what's going on? It's hating ass Q. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we got oh, enough. Up, we got what enough up, haters up, out here. What, what up, up, cuz? What it do, Ken folks? What it do, Ken folks? Yeah, Ken folks. <laughs> well, what's Who up, that? man? What's on your mind? Oh Who my that? Who that? Who that? What? Who that? Talking about beating them saints? Who that, Who that thought they could do that? Who that thought they could do that? Who that? Who that thought they could do that? It ain't happening. Ain't possible. <laughs> Man, look, we used to get ass whooping back in the day on a regular basis. Yep, yep, yep. Regular basis. Yeah. If you fucked up down the street, somebody else's mama whoop your ass. Yeah. And then you get Take home and you get home, home. Tell your mama, your mama whoop your ass. <laughs> yep. Tell your daddy when he get home, you he gonna whoop your ass. Yes, yep. yes. Then you go see grandma and she gonna whoop your ass. Yes, man. <laughs> and get your kids on the cheek. Like three days, three days later, she hear about it. And then you get another whoop. <laughs> hey, you know, two days ago. Big mama ass whooping worse than daddy ass whooping. <laughs> big mama gonna tear your ass up. You ain't lying. She know the right angles. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, what's your, hey, you, hey, you remember the mom? Hey, you, hey, you, you remember the mom oh. ass whooping, don't you, boy? <laughs> Boy, go in the back and get me a switch. <laughs> oh, bro, I'm telling you, cuz. And if you, if you come back, if you come back with a small switch, don't make me go get it for you. <laughs> oh shit, okay. You better come back with a tree branch. Hell yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. They so, lost sight so of So which that. one you rather get a whipping with? The the stitching cord, the switch, the belt? Which one you choosing? Shit, I done had them all. <laughs> he experienced. He said, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm OG yeah. with it. Hey, he grew up in Louisiana, bro. That's my cousin. We didn't experience all that shit. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. That's what it is. All I ain't going to lie, is. though. That extension, that extension toward a motherfucker, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, look. Let me ask you this question. So, so we know what the problem is. How do we fix the problem? You can't fix stupid, man. <laughs> common sense ain't always common. Hey, you that we saying? always say. Common, common sense ain't, ain't always common. common. <laughs> it's not. We got to figure no. out something. We got to figure out something. Oh, bro. I, I mean. Man, look. We, we got, like, like they say, man, you got these kids listening to shit they shouldn't get listening to. They got their mama. You can watch them when you go somewhere. They dress their kids up like they want their stuff to look. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I see another little girl walk around with some heels on and shit and all this makeup and all that bullshit. You starting like that when they shit 11, 12 years old. Exactly. What the fuck you think they're going to do when they 16, 17? Exactly. Be yep. thoughts. They're going to be hot they now. They wild them out. Yeah. <laughs> they hot. Yeah, hot. They watch their mama, though. Yeah, your mama hot. Now, if you're, yeah, they doing the same shit their mama doing. Right. That exactly. shit ain't cute. Ain't nothing cute about it. Ain't nothing cute about that bullshit. Now, that you got the young, home. You got the young fellas with their pants and shit down. Half these motherfuckers trying to run from the police to get caught because their pants hang out there. <laughs> Well, you're yeah, a fool, that's man. true. Come you on, man. Hey, he telling the truth. But look, he like to blame it. The truth. He say, work. okay. He say, the, if we had more fathers in the household, then it would work out. Yeah. I I think that's just an excuse. But oh. he, that's what he. What do you think? It's an excuse. Exactly. That's what uh, I say. It's an excuse. It's an excuse. Well, like because say, yeah, like we, say, see, we all had it though. See, the thing is, when we grew up, man, our family was tight. Yes. You hear me? Yes. Yeah. So if you, if you were fucking up. Somebody gonna let you know you fucking up. Hey, bro, R.L. will whoop now, your fucking no, like, ass, like, wouldn't like, he? Like, hey, Quint, R.L. or Uncle Sonny whoop your ass, wouldn't he? In a heartbeat. All right. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't bat an eye. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. You just want them ass whooping. Hell no. They whoop your ass, and then five, and five minutes later, they cracking jokes with you, but they gonna tell you, if you do that shit again, I'm gonna whoop your ass again. Yes. <laughs> well, I think uh, parents and, and yeah. these young parents, they, they try to do everything like, uh, Politically correct these days, you know what I'm saying? They they tell the kids they got rights. You don't have to listen to this. You don't have to do this. Do whatever you feel like is right for this. And and they got Google teaching them how to live life and social media and all these other things. That's, that's what I think. I'm gonna step on some toes. Politically, I'm glad right. you said that shit. I'm glad you said that shit. Cause my son came to school, came home one day from school about one two years ago. Tell him some daddy. The teacher said that you couldn't whip me, and if what? you did, I was supposed to tell them, and they was gonna call police. <laughs> yeah, I told yeah. him. I said, "It's true." Tomorrow, 
<laughs> Tell your teacher, I whoop they ass, I whoop your ass, and you bring the police, I'm whooping their ass too. Hell yeah. Hell I'm yeah. Say it again, cuz. Oh, Say it again, cuz. Say it again. That's what it is. That's what it is. I whoop hey, everybody's ass. Teacher's ass, police ass, and his ass too. Everybody gonna get it. Hell yeah. Right, I appreciate you calling, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate the words, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully they listen to you out there, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Thanks for being a fan. Man, who that? Who oh, that? Wow. Much love, cuz. Why you have to end it off like that, man? Yeah, he's supposed to end it <laughs> off like that. <laughs> yeah. What the hell you mean? How about them Cowboys? <laughs> How about them Saints? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right, man, we are out there, man. Y'all be good, man. Much love, cuz. Got love What's for up? you, bro. Be up, baby. Yeah, right, but, I mean, right. that, I think that's, that's the issue, you know what I'm saying? We... We had proper upbringing, which it could come from anybody. It was a neighborhood that, that you know, community. What they say, a old, a old African proverb, it takes. Yeah, that's right, Vanessa. Go Cowboys. I ain't paying no attention, Vanessa McCoy. <laughs> it, takes, it takes a village to raise a child. Right. With community, the man. The community. Can't, can't one person but we do lost, it by itself. We lost track of that, though. Yeah, because we all inside. Don't nobody go outside. Do you know what, you know what your neighbors look like? Do you know their names? Do you, that, that's what I'm saying. Back in the day, you knew your neighbor. You knew their name. You knew what they do. Exactly. What time they go to work. What time, whatever. Where, exactly. they, where they work that's, at. That's when we have a sense of community. We don't right. have a sense of community no more, Sancho. Well, so we need to build that. We need to start that. Yes, we can start Somebody got to lay the first brick. Bro, oh, you and me can lay the first brick, bro. Are we, wait, bro. You know so, what? So I you probably, said I could be an hey, activist? Bro, bro yes. Yeah. I could be an activist? You are. You okay. don't realize, but All you are. Right. I right. Probably, hey, bro. Our podcast is reaching people. Straight, hey, bro, we reaching people, bro. Oh, because yeah. Because we talk about real shit that oh, motherfuckers yeah. are afraid to talk about. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Motherfuckers be worried about, is, is, is Master Jerry going to find me? <laughs> we don't give a fuck. <laughs> we don't give a fuck. I ain't got nothing to lose. <laughs> if I lose this job, I'm going to go find me another one. I ain't got nothing to fucking lose. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Even at Speak the your job, fucking I'm, mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say what I. What Speak your to be fucking said, mind man. as That's... a black man. You know what? The, you know what? White folks are so afraid of. When we unify the people, they already know they fucked. You know, y'all try is to kill us with AIDS. No, let, let listen. What I'm saying, they try to kill us with AIDS. They try to kill us with everything, bro. But you know what the new genocide is? It's cool to be gay. <laughs> yeah, that that was gonna bring up my next topic, man. Cause I know everybody's seen the pictures of. Uh, Dwayne Wade's son mm. kissing his little uh whatever. Well, uh, no, that's sick, shit. <laughs> that shit's crazy, man. I mean, that they shit promote sick, that bro. shit hardcore, man. That I don't sick. understand it myself, but bro, that shit's sick, bro. That shit's sick. So now you gonna kill us? You can't kill us with all this other shit. So now you gonna kill us because we can't reproduce? Yeah. That's what well, the that's fuck. That's only you one do. person though, but I I still don't man, like Dwayne Wade. I still don't do. like it. Well, what the fuck is Dwayne Wade doing? He, bro, let, at 12 he years let old. he telling his he doing the politically correct thing. He so said, "Do at, what the fuck you want to do." So you telling me at do 12, whatever you feel is right. You telling me at twelve years old. Now he's fourteen. Now you telling me at twelve years old. You know what the fuck you going to be in life at twelve years old? <laughs> bro, get the fuck. Oh man, we got a call come in. Block the music. <laughs> oh, we got another. Hey, bro. Nah, it's it's a call on the deal. We go uh but figure out a way to get this off. I don't even know how to work it, but it'll be Whoa. all right. That's how you know we live. Yeah, we man, always we have. Always hey, live, man. Now it's all about us. <laughs> Fuck that music. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all want to dance? Go to the club. <laughs> get on the phone. Hey, nah, I'm like just fucking say, with y'all. Hey, hey, I appreciate everybody, you know what I'm saying, that, that peep our show, give us their yeah. feedback, you know what I'm saying? I run into a lot of people out there in the community. They be like, yeah, yeah. You know, I fuck with bridges and bank rolls. So, I mean, it's definitely growing. We all, we only be on some real shit on here. We might joke and, you know, we high side. And I know Hater Dave, he might sound prejudiced sometime, <laughs> but he an activist, so he got to have a little bit of prejudice. <laughs> we didn't even play the, uh, what color is that motherfucker today? <laughs> we didn't. Because know. Bill Collector, he ain't here. So we, he didn't uh, give us out yeah, of you, and, motherfucker. And <laughs> just, just out of, for him. Out of respect for him, we ain't gonna do it because he ain't here. Yeah, we ain't gonna do it because he's not here. He might try to sue us. <laughs> he might, but guess what? That's my brother. I love him, bro. Like I say, I love him. I love Sancho, bro. We all brothers in here, bro. That's why we. That's why the shit works so well because we all feed off each other. Yeah, it's all good. We, I mean, we do our thing. That's what it's for. It's for y'all. We do this for y'all. I mean, I run my mouth anytime. My wife, sometimes she tell me, yeah, hey, you talk too much, but I've been running my mouth all my life. That's what it is. Sometimes it get me into trouble. Sometimes it get me out of trouble. So I use it both ways. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Like, Bridges and bankrolls. We always on the spot. 
We always, always out man. there. We ride for the community for sure. He yeah. an activist, and I'm an activist now. He told me yeah, I'm, you I've are, been deputized. Bro. You are. So, yeah. so now I'm fighting for the people. <laughs> I'm fighting hey. for the people. Hey, I get bro. a badge? Do I get a badge? You get or? a badge. <laughs> you get a fucking badge, man. That's like the police, though. And guess what? Hey, yeah, hey, hey, Bill Collector should be back next week. We're going to try to get him back. Out of rehab. Spot, out of rehab. Man, uh, this, I told oh, you the motherfucker walked out. He, I ain't no telling where he at. He said, I'm going to the bathroom and never came back. And that's <laughs> crazy. Crazy in this shit. He left his food. He left his drink. He, he left his all food. His, everything. Black men don't leave food. Man, this, he left all this <laughs> shit and said, I'll be back and never came back. Hey, but so, you know what? Hey, Bill Collector be back next week. But you know what? Y'all fans need to know we don't skip a beat. We still here. We always going to be here. Y'all can't get rid of us yeah, like yeah. that. We like roaches. <laughs> we always going to be here. We like grass. <laughs> we going to still grow. <laughs> you got it. You got we it. Still Biz grow. and Bank Rose. Hey, shout out to, to, to my wife, to my family, everybody that called in. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Tune in to the next show. We always upload new content. You know what I'm saying? Check out the channel, Bridges and Bank Rolls. You know what I'm saying? Sancho Lito, I'm out of here. All right. We out. I love y'all. Peace. (laughs)